Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to a new tutorial where we will learn a new trick of multiplication. In this video, we will learn how to multiply very easily by just drawing lines. Doesn't it sound amazing? No? Okay, let's see. Suppose we want to multiply these two numbers 12 times 13. So we all know how to multiply these numbers using traditional method. But today we will learn how to multiply these numbers using just lines. Okay, so at first start with 12. For 12, we have two digits, 1 and 2. So at first we will draw one line. So this one line stands for 1. And for 2, we will draw two more lines, but we will uh, give some gap here. So this is 1 and this is 2. So we are done with 12. Now coming to 13. At first for 1, we will draw one line here and for 3, we will draw three lines here, okay? You can uh, start either way. You can start in this way and then in that way, I mean diagonally from any way you can start. Now for the second part, we will uh, group these straight lines. As you can see, there are some intersecting points here. So we will now group the intersecting points. How? This will be our first group and these two pairs will be our second group and this will be our third group. And we will start from the rightmost side. How many intersecting points are there? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five and six. So we will write six here. And how many intersecting points do we have here? One, two, three. For five so we have a five here and here is only one intersecting point so we will write one here so we can write 12 times 13 this is equal to 156 isn't it amazing okay let's see a few more examples so let us multiply uh, two digit number which is uh, a bit bigger than 12 say we want to multiply 23 with 14 okay so let's start with 23 so we can either uh, draw diagonally starting from this one so we have two straight lines here for two and we need to draw three more straight lines for three uh, though this doesn't seem like a straight line let me redraw it okay i hope this is way better okay so we are done with 23 now coming to 14 for one we give one straight line here and for four we will draw four straight lines here so you see we are done with the first part now here comes the part of carry okay so I will explain what does it mean so at first uh, count the number of intersecting points here so 1, 2, 3, 4, in this way 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12. So we have 12, but we will write only 2 here. And this one will carry out to this place, okay? Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3 plus 8, 11, and 1 carry. So we have another 12. So we will write 2 here, okay? And this one will carry to this particular place, okay? So we have two intersecting points plus one, so we have three. Now we can write the result as 322, you see? So I hope the concept is uh, pretty clear to all of you. Now you might think that what would happen if the number is uh, way bigger? Say if we take a three digit number, what would happen? So let's try with a three digit number. Suppose uh, we want to multiply 154 times, say, 12, okay? So we have a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number. So at first, uh, starting with 154. So we can either draw in this way or in that way, whichever you feel comfortable with, okay? So we can draw one line and then five straight lines for this part and for four we need to draw four more straight lines 
okay now coming with 12 we have one straight line here and then for two we need to draw two straight lines here okay now uh, the grouping part is pretty important here so at first this is our first group and this two part is our uh, second group so we can regroup it here and this is our third group and this is our fourth group okay so let us count we have one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight here we have uh, one two three four uh, and we have one two three four five ten four so fourteen so out of fourteen we'll write four here and this one will carry out to the next place we have one two three four five six seven and one that is eight here and we have one so the answer would be one eight four eight so I hope this concept is pretty clear to all of you. Now, another amazing thing about this technique is that we can very easily multiply uh, variables and also we can calculate something like this x plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay, So we can also calculate these polynomials I mean the multiplication of polynomials as well using this concept okay so I will discuss this particular trick in the next video I hope uh, you have understood this part now you might uh, have some confusions that how do we regroup this uh, parts I mean this is group 1 this is group 2 this is group 3 and this is group 4 so one thing is that you have to uh, draw the lines uh, in such a way that the lines are perpendicular to each other right you see this is almost 90 degree the lines are perpendicular to each other and you will see the lines uh, the groups which are intersecting points which are being uh, horizontal or uh, sorry vertical and in a same straight line so this will be in the same group another technique to making uh, to count the grouping is that you see here this is the first straight line of this part and this is the first straight line of this group so this is one with one that is we can say one plus one now here this is uh, the first straight line of one this is one plus and uh, this is five five is the second group so this is one plus two okay and if you look at this part this is two this is the second digit and this one is the first digit that is two plus one so 2 plus 1 is 3 and here 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so this 2 remains in the same group now coming to this part this is 1 that is the 1 of 2 this is the first number so we count 1 for this group and this 4 is the third digit so we can say 1 plus 3 so this group number is 1 plus 3 which is 4 now coming to this part uh, here these two straight lines that is the second digit okay and this is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is the second digit, that is 2 plus 2. So we also have 4 here. So 4, 4, this remains in the same group. Now, will it go to this group? Let's see. This is uh, 4, this 4 straight lines is the third digit, so we give 3. And this 2 is the second digit, so we give 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So no, this is not in the same group. That's why we have group like this. So I hope this concept is also clear to you. If you have any confusions, you can comment uh, in the comment section and let me know how did you uh, feel about this new trick. If you like this video, then please uh, let me know your comments and please subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel and let me know what sort of more videos you want from me in future. So until next video, stay fine, Allah Hafiz.